autonomous drones operated on a boat that sails itself. This AI could soon carry out some of the most dangerous jobs. A team from Bristol University is developing drones which will land on wind turbines out at sea to carry out vital repairs. The number of turbines that we have is, is almost growing exponentially. There's a large number out there. Um, they're offshore, they're in an environment which is really challenging, and we have to be able to repair them over the long term to, to keep them generating power for us. The UK's plan to become a leader in wind energy means there's now a real need for this technology, a fact that is now fast-tracking this development. The team says having unmanned boats and autonomous drones land on wind turbines offshore to repair them is as little as five years away. But it is not the only use for this technology. A team from Southampton University is also working on using a fleet of these autonomous boats to head out to sea and collect plastic waste from the oceans. We do know there's bits of the ocean where, the, where all the plastic comes together. But it's still spread over quite a large area. And so what we have the opportunity with, with sort of robot uh, vehicles is to actually sort of spread them over a long, large area and use relatively few people, or indeed no people, to actually sort of get them to operate together and collectively you know, face the challenge of how we can remove these unwanted materials from the ocean. The multinational engineering firm Talis is leading this AI technology. It says this is not about taking away work from humans. It's really, really important that um, in, in this type of business, um, we're, not, we're not sort of taking over people's jobs, but what we're doing is we're augmenting that into people's roles and making things more efficient. You know, we're going green, we're, we're, we're using less carbon. All of those sorts of things can be done through the use of autonomy. From clearing ocean plastics to repairing wind turbines, the concept of autonomous technology is fast becoming a reality. Dan Whitehead, Sky News in Plymouth.